Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a special routine. We're going to be working on the middle splits, but this is perfect for beginners and if you're just starting out. So we're really going to make sure that we're warm for this routine. We're just going to be doing stretches on a mat. So if you're ready, we're going to start in a pigeon position. So our leg is stretched behind us and we're bending the forward one and we're going to start off doing pulses. So we're just going to go up and down eight times and you don't need to worry about the front leg being in a right angle. If it's closer to your body, that's perfectly fine. You have to do what's comfortable for you and then slowly work your way up to the right angle, opening the hip more and more. After pulsing, we're going to hold down. So just hold it. We're gonna be holding these positions about 30 seconds, sometimes 15 seconds. And if it feels at all uncomfortable, please let go, listen to your body, and then continue when you're ready. All right, let's slowly come out of this stretch and we're going to make our hips square and we're just gonna kind of sit on our foot slightly. We're gonna go a little bit back with our upper body and we're just gonna stretch out our hip flexor here. So this is a gentle hip flexor stretch. It's not as extreme as a lunge, but it gets the job done. If this feels uncomfortable for your ankle or knee, please let go. Now we're going to switch over facing forward and we're just going to stretch out that hip and just kind of do a mini middle split here so you can go all the way down with your body or you can stay up like I am all right let's slowly go to a reverse lunge so you can keep your foot in neutral position or you can flex it like I am just to increase the stretch a little bit more. And we're just gonna bring our head down onto our shin or knee. And just hold here. You're gonna really feel this in your hamstring and it might feel really intense, so just take your time, listen to your body. And just breathe deeply, trying to increase the stretch with each exhale. Alright, let's slowly come into a low lunge so our knee is on the ground and we're just going to bring our upper body up but you can keep it down and we're just going to pulse it out just like we did in the pigeon pose and then we're going to hold and let's just hold it down now just breathing deeply here Pushing that hip down. We're going to hold here for 30 seconds. All right, let's just come down and we're going to come to a pigeon pose and repeat this all on the other side. So opening up that hip. And we're just gonna come for some pulses, just nice and slow ones, trying to increase the stretch with each pulse and just warming up this hip. All right, now let's just hold it down and just hold it. If your knee or hip is hurting, just please let go or come back to the stretch before or go to the stretch after. All right, let's 
let's come up and switch our leg position, making it square, sitting on that foot, and gently stretching out that hip flexor. And you can have your hands wherever you want, but by holding it back a little bit, you get it more of a stretch. So we're only holding here for 15 seconds. And let's switch that position again, facing forward. Like I said, you can be all the way down, or you can come up like I am, whatever feels comfy. And our hips are turned in, and we're just trying to stretch out that hip. And let's just switch it up again, coming to a reverse lunge. And just bring our head down to our leg. And just holding here. Once again, you can flex your foot to increase the stretch. Making sure you're not sitting on your foot, but you're actually kind of up. All right, let's come to a low lunge. So knee on the ground and upper body up and just pushing that hip down as much as we can. First pulses and then we're gonna hold. So just warming up that hip flexor, trying to increase the stretch each time. Good, and let's just hold it here. All right, we're gonna switch it up again, coming to a side lunge. So just turning around, facing forward, keeping that foot up. And now we're really trying to get this middle split feeling in. We're trying to keep our standing leg or standing foot, the heel down so that we're not on our tippy toes. And let's just switch it over to the other side. So nice and slow, keeping that heel down and the other foot facing up. And we're trying to get that butt all the way down as far as possible. We're gonna let go and we're gonna come for a nice butterfly position so feet together and we're just gonna bring our head down to our feet letting our body weight bring us down trying not to over force it or something and just keeping those hips nice and wide Let's slowly, slowly come up and we're going to bend one leg to our body and stretch out the other one to the side like so. So keeping the one leg close to the body and we're really going to try to go down with our upper body and just down to the elbows or you can go all the way down with your head like I am and we're trying to keep the stretch leg facing up. So try not to turn the hip in. All 
All right, let's come up and we'll go straight to the other side. So foot close to the body and the other one stretched, facing up. And let's just go down. Now we're really trying to not lift our butt in the air, trying to keep it seated. Alright, let's come up and we're just going to bend both of our knees, just kind of creating a middle split but still keeping the knees bent and we're just gonna slide our hands under the knees and just go down with our body weight and just hold here. So just really warming up for the middle split, trying to go as far as we can. Just keep your deep breathing going. Don't forget it. All right, release. And we're gonna come for a nice yogic squat. So keeping our hips turned out. We're just gonna come for a nice squat, very deep squat, really stretching those hips. You can keep your hands down or you can come to a nice little po prayer pose like I am, or you can just keep them to your sides. We're just going to hold here, keeping those hips open. And you can sway side to side if that feels comfortable for you. Just making the hips more mobile. gonna release and we're gonna come for the middle split finally so we're gonna open up as much as we can keeping a seated position and you can stay here if you want if that feels comfortable for you or you can continue with the variation I'm gonna do I am gonna go forward with my body to the side trying to get my head down to my shin or knee and just hold here I'm trying to keep my feet facing upwards here. And now I'm going to switch it up and just go sideways with my body. I'm trying to catch my toe with my hand. Like I said, this is totally optional. You can stay facing up in the normal middle split position. Do what's best for your body. So now we're going to come to the other side. Now let's go sideways with the body, catching the foot, and just holding here. Alright, let's slowly release, and we're just going to go down with the body, and we're going to do like we did before with the other positions, we're going to pulse it out first. Just trying to go more and more into the stretch with each pulse. And your hips can be facing down or up. It's up to you. Doesn't matter anymore in this position. And after that, we are going to be holding down. And let's hold it. So if you really have a hard time trying to go down, you can hold on to something to hold yourself down. Or you can have a person helping you, pushing you down, but ever so gently, you don't want to push past your limits, you want to take this easy. Alright, so we're just going to hold here, making sure we're keeping our deep breaths going. You want to send oxygen to those muscles. You don't want to hold your breath at any point of this stretching routine.
All right, let's slowly come up and let's just release the position and we're just gonna shake out our legs just relax those muscles and everything all right let's come for a butterfly position quickly and just beat those hips up and down ever so gently we're gonna come for our final position which is totally optional but if you want to increase or make your middle split better we, you can do this so we're just gonna come from the top and just slowly slide down trying to make our split increase even more we're just gonna hold here so we're keeping our body up here we're just focusing on the hips slowly release shake it out release the position and just shake your legs good release that tension and let's just come all the way down onto our knees and we're gonna come for a nice child's pose so really release the tension we want to open up our knees here in this child's pose so I'm not closing them this time and just hold here and come up and we're finished so i hope you guys enjoyed that routine let me know how it goes in the comments and i'll see you guys in my next video bye